Let me guess. It took me long enough. Your word, Snoop. Rookie over there seems nervous. First time toppling the oppressive regime, kiddo. Don't worry about me, Mr. Bear. I'm here to help. And what made you switch sides so suddenly? I'm only asking because the other 99% of the police force is as crooked as it gets. I know, Mr. Bear. That's one of the main reasons I'm here with you tonight. It's... It just doesn't feel right anymore. You mean your boss, following the dollar-shaped crumbs that pig is throwing him? Well, there's that, yeah. Also, I really care for Miss Ashworth. I want to help in any way I can. As you should, son. Okay, so what's going on here? I didn't sign up to be a babysitter, Ted. Sam, did you have time to go through that case I gave you? I glanced over it. It's big, Snoop. King compiled everything to put Mills away for good. I mean, there's photos of the meeting with Red, audio logs, a list of people on the take, everything. So, what's the plan? Sam, you go back to Paper Daily and do your thing. Just make sure this hits the streets by tomorrow morning. Once it's out in public, Mills is going to have the whole city after him. You got it, pal. Brian, son. You go through that list in that briefcase and gather all the cops you can find that are not on it. Get it? Yes, sir, Mr. Bear. And that leaves us. You, loon. We need to find Amber. Last I know, she was at King's Island, but Locke was there with his bulls. I don't know where they took her, but it sure wasn't the precinct. And King? He's gone to the big one B. Just like that? We can start at the mayor's mansion and... No need for that, Bear. I know where they took her. What? How could you know that? There's something I need for you to see before we go get her, Ted. What is it? Go to the East Tunnel. The one that leads... To Flint's room? Yeah, I know. Or does it, Ted? What do you mean? Listen to me, Ted. Go and see for yourself, and then come meet me downtown. The girl will be there. How will I know where to find... Oh, God damn it! That's right there. Look for the seagulls. Look at where they flock. B, God damn it! I don't have time for this. I thought you snoops were supposed to keep an open mind. I... I'm your friend, Ted, and I care for the girl. You just, you have to trust me on this one. Go through the tunnel and see where it takes you. After that, come find me at the place where the seagulls flock. If this turns out to be a wild seagull chase, B, we won't get another chance. You understand that? I do, Bear. All right, I trust you. I'll go scout ahead, assess the threat level. Meet me after you're done. Brian. Sir? Once you gather those few good men, meet us downtown. If it all goes as planned, we could get rid of that bastard Mills and the Red Man, all in the same night. So, we're really doing this, aren't we? Hate's getting to you, buddy. Good thing I can keep a cool head, yeah? Mm. Dead? Goddamn, I need a drink. That was an odd dot to connect. Well, you said cool head, and I thought of... Ice? Yeah, ice. And how it goes well with carrot juice and... Seems like a long way. I should get going. CBG said I should go down the tunnel. It differentiates between the gray one and the slightly less gray one. If I'd taken it earlier, it would be level 12 by now. I'll keep it for now. Whoa there, what's that? Is that, is it expanding? Hey, low lives, are you guys? Can you hear me? What's happening to the room? Why is all the stuff disappearing? I need to get out of here.
Some famous painter once said, when I don't have red, I use blue. What does that even mean? Is it just conventions flying out the window? Or is it a form of compromise? Until now, I thought the colors were pretty straightforward. Sun is yellow, sky is blue, and so on. But then again, I was never much of an artist. That's Amber's thing. What happens when all the colors come crashing down on you, like the world's most colorful tidal wave? I have no idea what I just witnessed. The violent, abrupt clashing of what can only be described as different realities. Ones that can't coexist in the same space. I was never a superstitious man. I valued logic and reason above all things, none of which I found in there. Flint's room is not his room anymore, it's just a storage. I was there before. I saw his room. Didn't I? The mugshot boys. What happened to them? They seemed dead, but somehow still alive. It's like they got caught somewhere in between Paper City and the other reality. Not quite dead, but not alive either. I'm positive whatever the hell that was in there. I would suffer the same fate as those two lowlifes had I decided to stay a bit longer. I can't grasp any of this anymore. I'm missing something. A key component. How is all of this connected? What am I not seeing here? I have to get to Amber. I need to get her away from Mills before he hands her over to Red. With Locke and PCPD on his side, that won't be an easy task, though. Knife to be prepared for anything. I have to find her and tell her what I found out. Maybe she can make sense of all this. He told me to follow the sequels, and I would find Amber. Any other day, I'd call him crazy and tell him to go home and rest, but not today. I have a bad feeling about the outcome of tonight's events, but I have no choice. I have to keep on. I have to finish this, despite all odds. I'm done following logic, as it didn't bring me anywhere so far. It's time to sacrifice my principles at the altar of greater good, and follow my gut on this one. In other words, if I don't have red, I'll use blue instead, whatever the hell that means. <laughs>